Hi, welcome to Tea with Jan. I am Jan. Today we are going to unbox some things. Tea, of course. <laughs> Let's get going. Hi. Do you want to say hello? Say hi. My name's Ainsley. Who's this adorable little man? Tell everybody your name. Say, I'm Oliver. How do you get down? You gotta give kitty kisses. Well, as the title says, we have some tea to unbox. So let's get started. This is the uh, sunroom slash kitty room right now. So it's actually my first order from Harney and Sons directly. So as you know, or as you may know, I love Harney and Sons Paris blend. And this here, as we can see, it says inspected by Canada Customs. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, let's pop it open. I'm unsure as to what we're going to see. So as a Canadian ordering from Harney and Sons directly, sometimes you can get like a really good deal. So there was like this 25% off when I went to order. All right. All right. Okay. So here's the thing is that when you look at Harney and Sons and when I look online, I paid, I think it was $15 for shipping to Canada, US. And it says that all the duties and customs and taxes and everything that, you know, potentially I could incur were all covered. However, FedEx would not deliver this to me until I paid, it was almost $15. So I emailed Harney and Sons to ask, you know, like, hey, is that normal? That seems weird. And um, they haven't responded. Once they respond, I'm going to leave a comment or I'll leave it in the description down below and let you know, or I'll put it on the screen if uh, they do beforehand. Okay, quick update. I actually did hear back from them. They had emailed me to check to see if everything was okay with my order. I think it was like an auto thing. I don't think that it was like special for me. <laughs> Anyways, I responded to that and explained that I actually was charged for duties and they refunded me. So yeah, no issues there. They said it shouldn't have happened and that they were going to check to see what had went wrong and why the company charged me, but they instantly just refunded me my uh, the amount that I was charged. So no issues there. If you are charged and you're in Canada, I would just recommend that. My only issue, I guess, would have been if it was a gift parcel, how that would have went, because maybe the person wouldn't have known. And yeah, anyways, back to the past. <laughs> Now the interesting thing is, is that there is an option where you can actually have it gift wrapped. And I thought it would be fun. And like, I mean, normally I wouldn't pay to have something gift wrapped sent to me. And I think it was like $9 extra to have it gift wrapped and have a note sent. So I paid that so that you and I can see what it looks like. So if I was getting this as a gift, I guess the first thing is, is that I already have on the outside a pack and slip saying exactly what's in it. And I suppose that's because it's coming to Canada. We have kitties starting just around us. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. What do you see? All right, we got two samples. That's nice. I don't, I'm not quite sure what this one is. And this one is Earl Grey Supreme. Mm. All right. Oh, there's two more samples. That's so nice. So fun. All right, this here is what it looks like inside the box. So, looks like a nice package. And I love that they actually put it in plastic because if the box got damaged, I wouldn't want everything inside to get wet. Okay. 
So this is what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Let's open. Bah, 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 bah. So this is a nice, it's very nice texture feeling. So it has some texture. It's not like super matte, but it's like nice feeling. It's not glossy. It has a lovely bow on it. There were different options like Christmas. Let me see if it tells me what I picked. I picked the holiday theme. I also did like a rounding up with my order um, to do carbon. No, I did carbon offsets was an extra and I think it was like 50 cents. And then there was an extra, you know, hey, do you want to round up? And I did that as well. Hi, Lady Grey. Okay, let's see. So remember, this is supposed to be coming as a gift. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, that is snazzy. And also it smells amazing. All right, let's see what I ordered myself. <laughs> I ordered this adorable little stainless steel scoop for scooping tea out. I thought that was so cute. And you can see it's about that long. See how it twists that? Oh, that's so adorable. This is nicer than what I thought it was on the website, actually. I love that. Very nice. Look at how well packaged it is. That was the other thing. And it said, if you choose the gift wrapping option, they will automatically um, assume that everything in your order is to be gift wrapped. So that is what they did. Let's see. This was the main reason why I had to order Paris. <laughs> so this is a loose leaf Paris blend one time. Yum. I have been craving that. Ainsley, what's up, baby? Oh, we have Latte. Hi, Latte. You're so adorable. Yeah, what's happening? Open the boxes. You want to go play? Yeah? They're so cute. All right. This one, I think, was on sale, so I thought that would be fun to try. It's a furry breakfast. And look at the tin. They always do such lovely tins. So, so pretty. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I got, these are called take-alongs, I think is what they call them. Uh, so there's three sachets in it and I thought that was a lovely way to be able to try some different teas. This is a yellow and blue herbal infusion. But I just love those little canisters, they're so cute. And then this one, Wedding, a tea for marriage. And this one has five sachets in it. This tea is white tea, natural vanilla flavoring. Um, or sorry, it just says natural vanilla flavor. Rose petals and natural lemon flavor. But so pretty. So those two. And then like, look, it's a very nice box to be able to keep as well. Look at this. Oh, neat. <laughs> That's fun. Whoop! <laughs> uh, from tea garden to tea cup. In 1983, John Harney embarked on a mission to share his passion for tea. Harney and Sons offers a selection of over 275 varieties of the highest quality teas. We personally source our teas from the most reputable established estates and gardens worldwide, accepting only the exceptional. That is very nice. And then look at that, it's so fun. <laughs> so these, this is like an assortment of tea. And the first one I picked was Paris, that's cute. But like all the different hot cinnamon spice, I hear so much about that one. I'm anxious to try all of these teas and that is beautiful. This would be lovely as a gift on its own. Okay, so that, is the end of my box actually. So here's the thing. So when you order this uh, special gift packaging wrapping and you pay the extra money for it, you can also include a note. 
And the thing that was like, uh, where's my note? Like, I think that they needed to have like a little card tucked inside because like typically I would not, let me just check here. So typically I would not like open a packing slip or anything, but they, they actually posted it on, on the packing slip and they just highlighted the note that I put in. So the note that was supposed to be with this gorgeous packaging in this exceptional box that was so well done, it should have said, who doesn't need a good tea and a moment of rest? Here's the tea, you bring the rest and you're all set. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Massive hugs, XOXO jam. Cause you know I love sending myself a good note. But the thing is, is that it's just a printout like on the outside of the box that easily could have got damaged. Like I really think that like that just one extra little step of just kind of like tucking it in there would have been so nice, so nice. But like this box is, this is a beautiful box. Ainsley, what do you think of the box? What do you think of everything? Come say hello. Mo. Oh, gracious. Oh, gracious. What do you think? Is that better? Is that better? Oh, yes, that was a big sigh. So that's what I think that they should have done. Um, and then that would have been like a 10 out of 10 for me. So if I was giving that as a gift, I would have just been a little bit you know, because if you get something as a gift, somebody's like, oh, I'm sending you a gift. I, first thing I wouldn't do is I probably wouldn't open the packing slip because it's gonna tell me exactly what's in there and I don't want to ruin the surprise, but you guys know that's just, that's just how I roll. <laughs> so, what did you think, Ainsley? That's the real thing. Yes. She wants supper, lunch. You want lunch? Okay, <laughs> I will see you guys in the comments down below. Until next time, take care, bye.